Today I'm gonna to show you some crafty basketball stealing drills designed for you to get the ball out of your offensive player's hands without getting called for the foul. I'm Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. As a premier basketball player development coach, I wanna to train you today just like I've trained thousand youth players all over the world for almost two decades. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you the drill that guarantees you will get steals. Then I'm gonna show you a little known drill that gets you steals, even when you're not defending the player with the ball. And on top of that, I have a bonus that I'll give to you, but only if you stick around to the very end. Let's get right into the drill that's gonna guarantee you get steals. Marcus Smart is a genius. And, and I say that not because he's an NBA player, not because he's one of the top defensive players in the NBA. He's a two-way player too, he also you gotta respect this game on offense. But he has a method I wanna share with you all that I listened to, watching a clip on him talking about how the art of, art of the way he likes to steal basketballs. He don't like to steal basketballs when a player has the ball more so in their hand. See, when the ball is in your hand, that's when it's on the string. That's when you have control and command of that ball. But see, guess what? The opposite also is true. When the ball is not in your hand, that means the ball has dropped. See, on the drop of the dribble, that's when he goes to get the steal. That's when he's trying to be disruptive. And, and again, I don't know if it's actually going after the steal, but it's actually disrupting that rhythm of that offensive player. Therefore, they mishandle the ball, and now it gives him an opportunity to go after that basketball because we call that a 50-50. It's a loose ball at that time. So the drill I want to teach you, even when you're by yourself, can you drop it and without it going to the ground? Because again, Marcus Smart says, don't steal it when it's coming up. Steal it when a player is dropping the ball. So I like to drop it and tap it. Drop it and tap it. Can you drop it forcefully and quickly as a dribble and then try to tap the basketball? Can you drop it and tap it? See, I struggle with my left hand, right? I use my right hand more so than anything to steal the basketball, right? But I want to drop it to where the ball cannot hit the ground, like a forceful dribble. Can I drop it, tap it? So I can tap with my right better, I can tap with my left. Ball got to hit the ground. Ball hit the ground doesn't count for me. I got to get it when the ball's dropping. You drop the ball, can you not let the ball hit the ground before you try to disrupt it? Right, that's cheating you. One, I touched it. I didn't get that one. I cheated you on that one. I cheated you on that one. That's tough. Ah, uh, two. Now, again, being a maverick, being somebody, I'm here by myself, it's how I was a, as a player. I would make up things that helped me. So when I actually played against somebody and I saw it work, I'll keep doing it. But do ball drops. You got a partner, have that partner hoover that ball in front of you hard and try to time that dribble. When you see that ball going down, put that hand in there on the ground and get that basketball. I noticed that you're not a subscriber. I develop premier basketball players and roll out 20 high quality videos every month to help you. So click that subscribe button. Now let's talk about how you can get steals even when you're not defending the player with the basketball. This is how now you need to learn to deny the basketball, right? What's a denial? A denial on defense is simply speaking, you are what we call one pass away. Let's say right here is the player that I'm guarding. My responsibility defensively is to be in between the basketball and my opponent, the offensive player I'm guarding. Everyone is different, okay? I wanna go over two ways you can play this. Some coaches that like to more so show help where they don't want penetration they want to protect their house the paint area this red area they more so do what I call an open stance on denial and also this team may not be prone to shoot over you to beat you they can drive through you so they want to more so show help even though they're one pass away this isn't wrong because what I'm showing this offensive player right here is it's gonna be hard to probably penetrate to your right in this gap before you have to do what penetrate pitch and off and defensively speaking what the advantage is it's a short closeout if I'm playing a non-shooting player I have a one step or two I'm right back in position and guess what my teammates are doing the same thing ball move you move concept mentality ball went to the right this player went to the right now this player here is sitting down in the gap I'm right here on the basketball we're like a we have a web it's hard to penetrate so Open stance denial, where you really don't care about stealing the ball, you're just really trying to protect the paint and gaps from drives. On the other hand, if you're not open, you're closed. This may be a team offensively that can shoot the basketball. Defensively, it may be a team the coach really trusts what they do athletically, who they are defensively as an identity, and he really trusts the individual pieces to make the whole part work. So now, 
in a denial stance, if that penetration happens, now there's more of a showing for, again, the same concept, drive kick, penetrate pitch, short closeout. And guess what this player is doing? Same concept. On the basketball, right, boom, 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 ball got passed, bang, close denial. So now there's more trust. Defensively, identity may be established in practice. It shows up in games to mastery. Offensively, maybe a team that can shoot over you. So kind of give you an example of the setup. So now, how can you get steals? Bottom line, learn to play defense like Kawhi. Kawhi is really good off ball. Everyone can be good on the ball, but off ball, paying attention to detail, not going to sleep, being alert, being aware, learning how to deny the basketball. Arm closest to the basketball, denying. Thumbs down, palms out. Someone back door cuts you. Here's what you don't want to do. What you don't want to do is open up. Because now you lose sight of your man. They might cut out, almost like breaking your ankles. You try to close out. Now, you, now you're all disoriented. What happens on the back door cut? You simply want to do this. Player cuts back door, all you want to do is change hands. Because what I'm teaching you is to learn to become a cornerback now, where if that ball hits you, hits your leg, your teammate can get it. You're also pushing your offensive player away to what we call the push points. And the push points are to the side, to the baseline sideline. Here's a push point. We want them going away from the play. So simple denial, denial, absorb, absorb. Now when you get in this pain area, they continue to cut, you want to open up. Because now you want to see the basketball. Now the person you're guarding is not really a threat because they're going away from the ball. And the further they go back out to that perimeter, guess what? All you simply do, if there's still one pass away, is turn your body again, according to your teammate scout report or your, your coach's scout report, whether it's going to be open or closed, and you just ride them back out, right? Ride, open, ride, right? Back door cut, change it, open up, open up, deny it, right? Bottom line, three point stance. First stance, deny, absorb the back door to the push point, open up, see the basketball, they're going back out. There you go right there. This right here, I guarantee you, you learn to play not only on ball defense, but off ball defense. You can get a lot of steals and you can disrupt passes even when the person that you're guarding does not have the basketball. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We've covered a lot in this video and I really want to make sure I'm helping you out. So I'd like to offer you a guide that covers all the muscle and basketball principles and in what switch to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it and keep attacking.